as engineers, it's, it's really important that we actually do keep the larger picture of where is this actually going. I think that's how the world should work, and it really doesn't. The philosophy on life is that service is the rent we pay for living, and I think that that's something that um, it would be great, and it would make the world so much better <laughs> if, uh, if everyone kind of subscribed to that sort of philosophy. Someone gets this part, someone gets this part, you guys get to talking, and then you realize, oh, we actually can solve this together. How does all the groundbreaking research that I'm doing apply to the real world, and how can I make it into a product that people are going to use, and it's going to make the world a better place to live? Cycling is a huge part of my life, and uh, so whenever I learn, I learn through that lens. You know, building bikes out of bamboo can solve so many different problems on so many different levels. It's a way of transportation. It is sustainable. I view robotics as inherently interdisciplinary because you can't do robotics without the mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and computer science coming together teach children in grades from third grade up through middle school about engineering, what we're able to do is help them realize that they have so many more career options, especially with female students and especially the students whose parents aren't engineers themselves. Entrepreneurialism solves other people's problems with a mind towards how to make life better. A system of checks and balances where it actually forces you to really be cognizant of everything that's already out there and make sure that you are actually pushing the envelope. If everyone was riding a bike, the world would be better. <laughs> uh, robotic vehicles save people's lives. They save uh, soldiers' lives on the battlefield and civilian lives of people who die in car crashes every day. I just would like to think that in curing cancer that we also cure cancer for everyone, not just, you know, the people who can afford it. Engineering is not just science. I mean, if you, if you do math or physics, that is math or physics, but engineering is not that. It uses those as tools, but then you have to know how it can be applied in the real world.